one other thing that I uh, <clears throat> didn't mention when I was setting up the um, incubator because I didn't think about it was the humidity. So the bottom of the incubator has a plastic tray that goes in. I should have showed it to you on setup, but I got excited and forgot. But I'm gonna show you what the directions have here instead. Um, on your directions, it shows the, the plastic tray on the bottom, and it has directions on here about how to adjust the humidity. You can see the trays are numbered one, two, three, and four. They're not actually stamped with any number, I don't believe. Um, but you can see tray number one goes around the outside edge, so it is the longest, biggest tray. Uh, and then two, three, four, obviously. So most of the time, as the directions say, you only wanna fill tray number one. The humidity in the incubator is controlled by how much exposed surface area of water you have. So if you wanted super high humidity, of course, you would fill all four. Uh, but in the example on the directions here, it doesn't give any instance where you would fill all four. However, it says for the bulk majority of the incubating time, you're only gonna use tray one until right at the very end and then you'll fill tray one and two because for the last couple days you want to up the humidity. So uh, just wanted to mention that as one other thing to keep in consideration. Of course I've got a couple of books over here on uh, especially this one, Hatching and Brooding Your Own Chicks. So I will take a good read through that. Obviously I've got about 20 days to do it while the eggs are cooking. So um, just wanted to mention that and uh, it was something I left out. So there you go. That's really impressive too, uh, to see the humidity already gone up before I out of the water, the humidity was 35% because there really was basically no humidity in there. And just by pouring the water in that tray and throwing the lid back on, it's already jumped up to 49 and it's on its way up to 50, I'd say. Um, it's been a real steady climb here just in a couple of minutes since I poured the water and it's, it's jumped up pretty quick once I put the lid on. So um, yeah definitely makes a drastic difference actually having some water in there.